boy got no chill. That boy ain't got no chill. That boy got no chill. Like for real. That boy got no chill. That boy ain't got no chill. You gon' tell it to him straight, don't care how you feel. Then it feel as I got millions, this ain't no cap. Shoot through the ceiling, look how they act when I enter the building. Like for real. What I look like taking it back. If I said it, then I meant it. Bitch, let's get it, gon' pull up the stats. Pull him up, right I'm pulling up. Hop out, what we talking about? Big dog, don't need clout. When it comes to it, it's no doubt. Whole presence, legend. Control the room when I step in. Got it jumping off the meter. Welcome to Gills Arena. On fire, no fever. Natural born leader. Official like a referee whistle. Been earn my stripes, no zebra. Hey, let's get it, let's get it. Triple double, you in trouble. Who wanna verses? Thanks on my sneaks. I do this here on repeat. I can do this in my sleep. You know I ain't lying. I be flying like I'm Zion. I be laughing, haters crying. Podcasts doing numbers. Look like I'm handling my business. Always keeping it a hundred. Who want to smoke? Run it. Cause you talking like you want it. All I know is when it come to this basketball, you better bring that dog. Yeah. That boy Got no chill. Oh. That boy ain't got no chill. Me? That boy got no chill. Oh, like for real. That boy got no chill. That boy ain't got no chill. You gon' tell it to him straight, don't care how you feel. <laughs> what it do? What it do? I'm back in the studio, baby. I'm back in the studio. What? I'm back in the studio. Stand tall, stand small. How y'all living? How y'all living? We here. <laughs> I know you miss your boy. Listen, I was supposed to go. Listen, I was supposed to go live yesterday. I was asleep. <laughs> I was asleep. I missed it. I missed the championship. The motherfuckers left me, y'all. They left me. They left me. I missed I missed the championship game. They they ain't <laughs> them boys, boy, they straight left me. They couldn't wake me up. No nothing. That's what they that's what they do. That's what they do. But look, it was boring. Good. Good. Welcome, love. How you doing? Welcome to the membership. Hey, y'all see what's popping? Hey, it's going down on the, It's going down online right now. Ooh, it's going down. I listen. I I, I seen y'all. Listen, I seen y'all in the chat. I seen y'all early in the chat. Throwing throwing up. Uh, What's his name? What's his name? What's big fella name? What's big fella name? Uh, Raymond Felton. Y'all was like Raymond Felton. I'm like, what? What's going on? What's going? What's going on? And then, and then, <laughs> and then I seen it. Damn. Oh, if I would have known this before the show, y'all know I would have poked. <laughs> y'all know I would have been out there poking. Woo. Dang. And y'all know I already hit I already hit Rashad. <laughs> I already hit <laughs> I already hit Rashad. They see if he wanna come on and talk about big fella. No, no, no. I, I don't mean <laughs> I don't mean like big fella like that. You know, y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. I'm not talking about like <laughs> I'm not talking about like, <laughs> you know what? I'm not even gonna run down that rabbit hole with y'all. Just no Diddy, <laughs> no Diddy. Yeah, we just gonna you, we just gonna say no Diddy. All right, I, I'm gonna live with that. Okay. Hey, no, but I can tell you this. <laughs> I didn't recognize him when I. <laughs> I didn't recognize him when I when I seen it. I was like, who's dude? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that is that failing? No, it ain't big failing. Yeah, but it was. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just reminded me of like uh cat 
when uh, Cat Williams was like, <laughs> he just sitting there, oh, I'm just sitting. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I, I, I know, listen, I know my kids, hey, th- listen, I know my kids ain't going to address it, but God damn, boy, I can tell you this, this would <laughs> I don't give a fuck what Raymond said. Ain't no way, ain't no way I'm a cancer and I'm I'm addressing anything he said with him looking as big as he look out there. Oh uh, no, nah, I'm just gonna stay, <laughs> I'm just gonna stay right on this way the whole time. That's it. Okay. That's that's it. I don't give a fuck how bad he can call me a deep head all he woke. <laughs> he like, yeah, he's asshole. Was I that well? Was I asshole when you was wearing that kind of weight? Whatever. I'm just gonna keep mentioning his weight. That's it. That's it. That's it. Like Cat Williams had me looking at. He was Cedric into the team. I was like, oh, come on, dog. I can't get it out of my head now. Look at this. Let's go. Let's see what. Let's see what Big Ray had to say. <laughs> Not Big Ray. Stop, Gil. Just look. You know what? Let me just, let's just, listen, y'all. Let's just watch the video. We're going to keep our bias remarks to ourselves. Okay? You you don't like the, I know people struggle with like saying like a father. He really was like a father figure. Yeah. Because yeah. he really was, like he genuinely cared about every single one of us. Everybody. Regardless if you thought he pissed at you all the time. Okay, who is this? Does he play? He said all of us. Who, who, what's his name? Anybody know his actual name? Like, did he play for North Carolina? Get Felton on the show because McCann's be blaming his teammate coaches LeBron for everything and nobody gets to speak back. Well, he's speaking back. He's a clarified bitch. Oh, oh. Theo Pinson. He played on North Carolina. Hold on. Let me see. Theo. Oh, that's. Oh, man. I know him. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. My bad, Theo, man. My my bad. I I no. I... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't know he played on North Carolina though. Okay, so he came after. Okay, he came after McKenzie. Nah, you know when people when, when we get older, we don't look alike. We don't look how we used to look when we was hooping. I know, I know, I'm, I know. He genuinely cared about every single one of us yep. and wanted us to succeed. Yep. No matter if you was a dickhead to him or you was any, any per- like, that's what pisses me off. <laughs> nah, dog. <laughs> nah, nah, dog. No, man. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> No, man, no, not today, dog. <laughs> like, I want to be able to listen to what he's saying, dog. <laughs> like, because listen, I... <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, I, listen. <laughs> I remember this day. I remember. No, this ain't. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> I remember like a year and a half ago, this was kind of me. I mean, not 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 quite that, but when I was holding everything on my stomach, I remember that. Right? I, I remember that. We just we listen. No, 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 no. No, we're gonna do this, Raymond. Nope. I'm with you, Ray. I be, I was there before. Now I'm not we're gonna we're gonna do this, Ray. We're gonna do this together. Cause look, I was there before. I'm not even gonna lie. Right, we get we get so comfortable, we get so comfortable, right? When we sitting down and we want to talk like this, you can't you can't do this. What you look like when you when you when you sitting back, right? When you sitting back, this is what it looks like. You got to sit up. You got to put pillows back here. So you sit. Let the, 
let it let let the weight drop a little bit. You got to stay in like this. You can't lay back like this. We it looks it looks bad for us, right? We look we look extra big and wide because you know because when you're laying down, it, the, the the weight spread. It, it kind of like right. So you you sitting there looking like this, uh, looking like sound like big. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, so, so you gotta you gotta sit up. You gotta put the pillows in your back and sit. Let the weight drop straight. Everything, everything is like it like it's like a melting pot. You can't relax. You can't relax this much. No, you gotta wear sweaters, stuff like that. That's all I'm saying. It just caught me off guard. Off about my teammate. Yeah, and hearing some of the you know shit that he says. Exactly. You know, it kind of mm -hmm. pisses me off because like this man, even through all the BS that you took him took him through and sometimes took us through as a team. We still roll with you. He still roll with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so for him to say some of the things I hear him say on the podcast that they're doing and just things that he's done in the past, it just pisses me off because none of us has never turned our back on you. Never. You've always went your own way. Mm -hmm. And we was cool with that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But we still always had your back. Mm -hmm. But now once you started to mess with the legacy of Coach Williams and the legacy of what we've done mm -hmm. as a team, now we got a problem with you, mm -hmm. you know. So I never had a problem. I know, <laughs> I know his haircut at least fitted out. <laughs> when he was playing, twenty five, head double fifty. Give it to me, fifty, Ray. Get, come on, Ray, fifty dollars. <laughs> I got to get that big ass chin now. I got to go all up into that. Now I don't even know why. <laughs> this ain't even that. McCann's where you at, dog? Because <laughs> all I'm going to do is just, just make jokes. That's it. That's all I got here. I don't know who's telling the truth. I don't know if it's McCann's. I don't know if it's Raymond. This ain't my this ain't my beef. All I can do is just, just listen and laugh. You know me. <laughs> Y'all know me. <laughs> Y'all know me. Scaredy. Shit. <laughs> Raymond showed up. <laughs> Ray <laughs> Raymond showed up. Ray Ray security now. Woo! Probably do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I do now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm not going to let you sit here and say nothing about a man that I know helped all of us, mm -hmm. you know, achieve a dream that we all wanted to do, mm -hmm. which was get to the NBA, mm -hmm. which was be successful at the college mm -hmm. level. And we won a championship, bro. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you talking about? Like, it, it, it makes... lottery. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> who you think was making calls for you? Come on, man. Come on, dog. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? So, bro, when I see that, like, I really just. People are like, man, what do you think? I'm like, hey, I, just, man. I say he's a big I'll be bro. putting pride. I, say, I have nothing else to say. I said, okay, I give the dude a He was one of the best scorers that I've ooh, ever ooh. in my life played with. Mm -hmm. I've played with Don't scan. Mello, Dirk, PG, Russ. Like, ooh, I mean, ooh. the list goes on. I can name a whole bunch of people yeah. that I play with that can put that ball in the basket. Mm -hmm. Jamal Crawford. Like, <laughs> just bona fide scorers, yeah. bro. Yeah. This, that, this dude here is still in my top. One, two, or three. Mm -hmm. Like I'm serious. Like that's 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 the level of scoring that he can do. I never. And he got him in the top two or three. Okay. Take that from him. But the shit he do off the court, just uh -huh. can't, I can't rock with it. It doesn't make sense. Uh, just I've met damn near everybody on the championship. I got to stand. <laughs> I got damn near everybody. <laughs> Listen, it all y'all rock with each other. Just, still talk to each other to this <laughs> day. <laughs> and to get a different response to get. One person One. that felt a certain way about the whole team, but everybody has a different story. Like, like where were you at in this whole journey that we went on? Because y'all jumped, y'all literally, like I said, Carolina was always what Carolina was. Yeah. But y'all jump started the Coach Williams era to the extent of him being the head coach. Yeah. Because once, once you win that chip, oh, it goes it goes to another. It level. goes to another level and at that point. He won his first one with us. Yeah, exactly. You know, so That's what I'm saying, and it, that, it just kills me. Good. Then for him to, I heard for him need to hear him say that is that that. We hated on him. Yeah, I said well, what? that was my bottom. I'm like, hey, he said, dude, I was a point guard, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> start right there. I'm, I'm gonna start right there. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> Woo, Lord Jesus, was you, huh? Was you now? I'm sorry. I, I'm pretty sure today's. You try to tell today's today's area what position you play, brother. <laughs> you gonna have to go to the film. <laughs> Nobody here and shit you got going on. I can just tell you that you more like the old line. You play you play with Julius Peppers and them. <laughs> I'm just playing, dog. <laughs> yeah, like hate it. How many times I don't fed you the ball? You know what I'm saying? Sure you, <laughs> you can't use the word feed. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, I'm too immature for this shit. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. I'm too immature. <laughs> I'm too immature for this. This ain't this ain't my. That McCann's got to do this. This ain't me. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. It just sounds like he stopped feeding nigga the ball. Start feeding himself. That's it. That's it. McCann's got to fight his own battle. Okay. That's that's not our. This is not our beef, y'all. We gonna stay. <laughs> we gonna stay out of this one. Okay. This ain't got nothing to do with us. This is North Carolina boys versus North Carolina boys. McCant said his his shit. Now you got Raymond coming out here rebuttaling. That's between them two. Let let the North Carolina boys do their thing. Not our problem. All right, we're going to move on. Now, this right here, now this is some serious shit. This is some serious shit. Now, I don't want to feed the beast. Stop, you can't. Nope. I'm not. No, I'm not feeding the beast. Like, because if, if McCance wanted to talk about this, I'm pretty sure he would have brought it up on the show today. So the fact that he didn't bring it up and this is already out, I'm pretty sure he don't he don't want to talk about it. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, this is, th th these are teammates, man. You know, uh, Raymond was a hell of a player. Um, you know, I didn't really, I didn't really, uh, I really didn't watch McCants in practice. I mean, in um, in college, you know. So, you know, you know, he said he's one of the best scorers that he's ever played with. So, you know, that that speaks volumes for itself. Antonio James. How do you how did you lose weight? I, I I started working out a little bit more. Started stop eating less. I mean I, I, I started eating. I started eating less. Uh stopped eating around six o'clock. Um I worked out in the morning, but I also did two miles on an elliptical at at uh at night. Right, so let's say I did want to eat, I'll go to the gym and did and then do two two uh two miles on elliptical, and then within that first thirty minutes after I was done, I'll just hurry up and eat. Uh, what the f Ozim Ozim, I don't know what the fuck this is, but now nah, I lost my weight before that came out. But I can tell you that I don't know what it do, but if it helped you lose weight, trust me, I would have did it. But look, this is some real, real. But like, no, be honest. Like, uh, when we first, when we first, when we first finished playing, we all kind of like gained some type of weight just because we're still we're still eating the same, right? Without working out as much, right? You know, we don't have nowhere to be, so we're still eating the same calories. So we gain we gain weight fast, right? So, uh, you know. I've been there, so it ain't really, it ain't really, <laughs> it ain't really that big of a deal. But look, this is, this is that shit I was talking about, though. This is what I was talking about, though. Right here. Right here. I be telling y'all this shit be going on, and y'all don't be trying to listen to me. So y'all be thinking I be trolling so much. Y'all think I be trolling a lot when I say NBA coaches and general managers do certain things during your contract year and they sit you and all that. And here we go. We got someone talking about Mr. Rivers. Mr. Rivers is getting called out. It's going to do now that Doc is there in, uh, in the Bucks. It seems like he messed up every place he go. I still got a little beef with Doc. I don't even want to tell y'all the story because it's going to make y'all not like that man anymore. I had it in my contract. I don't worry. <laughs> I don't like him. So you ain't going to say nothing here that's going to make me dislike him even more. Like where I made like $2 million if I played a certain amount of games. Mm -hmm. Doc River gives me a DMP. The game where I needed one more game to get $1.5 million. The real in me wanted to just go sub in and just say, just sub. Bro, I think he did that on purpose, bro. Why would he give me a DMP for? I'm not hurt. I'm ready to go. 
and you know he knew yeah, that he, he knew. Was yes. that. Man, they be knowing. They like know that. all that. They know. Man, they be knowing. Ask, they be knowing. Ask, yes, they, they know. Be bro. Knowing. Yeah, they, they know, bro. Knowing. I just didn't have they nobody on my team like a Tom Brady, like he did for Grunt. Throw him the ball, just give him the ball anyway. I didn't look. I didn't get no big contract like the rest of these guys, bro. I need to count every 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 penny. I don't. Not facts. Listen, I told y'all. I said, listen. The reason I, I advise people, players, for doing incentive deals, benchmark deals, right? Deals that got free throw percentage, assists, points, right? Games being played. Nah, dog. They're going to screw you every time. So imagine, I'm pretty sure if we look, it was one of those teams where he was probably well, with the Celtics. They probably wasn't playing well, right? And the fact that, think about it. If you play one more game, the, the team got to pay you an extra $2 million on the losing team. You think that coach put you in? No, obviously, they didn't. You remember when I said, I said, yo, I had a teammate who was averaging a dub. Put him in the last game so he get under that night, so he get under the dub, so they ain't got to pay him the extra $2 million. No, no, no. It, listen, Doc didn't come up with it. It was the general manager who put that shit in Doc's ear and, and, and Doc did it. But that's 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 the game. Right? That's that's what happens. Like when we when we when you're watching this game and you start like like picking at certain <clears throat> certain players, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Glenn took two million dollars of that boy pocket. He should have swung with them little ass, boom, with them little ass arms, man. Dang, that's messed up though. Cause it happens all the time. I'm not even gonna lie, it happens all the time. Players get in situations like that. Say, give me, give me all my money. Oh, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want no incentives, nothing. Who does that? Yo, Gil, is it true players had to give back money to the front office according to KG? I don't know. I never heard that one before. I got I gotta look that one up and give you that answer. I gotta look that one up. How does I don't know how I don't know how Glenn be keeping these jobs, dog. Someone said someone said this. They said he is the expert at uh being a people person. Like his relationships with people is phenomenal. Right? He 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 knows everybody. He wants to know everybody. He is he is what we call brown nose king. Right, he's gonna talk. He's gonna. I mean, you know. I guess. I guess it's it's about who you know versus what you know, in a sense. You know, I mean, just let's be just just be honest. Right, it's really about who you know. Right, that's why he keeps getting jobs. He knows the right people. Now, Rachel Nichols is my, <clears throat> that's my girl. That's my girl. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure when she said this, she had just a few little bruise. That's it, just a little few bruise. You know, not, not she didn't have nothing too. Whoa, they almost did it. Whoa, they almost got me. Who, who almost got me? Y'all better stop playing with my internet. <laughs> Y'all better stop playing with my internet. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me go ahead and turn on the extra speed on y'all, just in case y'all try that again. I got the extra speed speed. I got the extra speed speed. 
Woo, they try, they trying to slow me down. Can't nobody hold. I'm not sure why she would want the job, yeah. frankly. We used to say, oh, gee, it's more money in the pros. Well, it's not. The average NBA coach's salary is three and a half million dollars, and she's making about that right now, plus the endorsement stuff and all the other outside stuff. So that's not the incentive to do it. Mm. Maybe she'd want it for the challenge, but I think she's accomplishing so much at South Carolina, both for. Well, uh uh, uh uh, Rachel. Uh uh. I'm not sure why she would want the job, frankly. We used to say, oh, gee, it's more money in the pros. Well, it's not. The average NBA coach. NBA. <laughs> Oh, come on, Rachel. You, come on. The, do you mean the WNBA salary? Not the NBA salary? Stop this madness. The WNBA salary, okay? WNBA salary is whatever it is. The NBA salary is about 3.5, okay? She ain't getting that job. The salary is three and a half million dollars and she's making about that right now, plus the endorsement stuff and all the other outside stuff. So that's not the incentive to do it. Mm. Maybe she'd want it for the challenge, but I think she's accomplishing so much at South Carolina, both for her team, her sport. She's going to want to stay in that. And she's expressed that, by the way, when people have talked to her about it. If she did want to do it, however, I think she would be more than capable. And I think that NBA players would absolutely respond to I her. I do, too. <laughs> so who the fuck said me? I think, too. Whoever that is, no. Stop. Stop. Listen, listen, listen. We're just going to be honest here, okay? No woman can coach an NBA team <laughs> all right listen <laughs> has nothing to do with her x's and o's mentally Men you, you come on come on y'all stop 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 because listen i get y'all get listen i get women y'all want to do a whole bunch of things and y'all think y'all can do and we Y'all can come into this league and coach. we are men and we going to say the most reckless shit when you try to sub us out when we don't want to be subbed out. You, you, we going to be hit with so many feminist lawsuits and whatever you think you th <laughs> her name is Don, right? You think that's what they going to be calling her when they mad? I, let's just. I'm, I'm sorry. Like let's just let's let's just be honest here. You better ask the female referees what they be getting called, and they got a whistle. It's it's just not. Doc is a soft ass coach. You know how many. P-U-S-S-Y names he be getting called. You know how many B words he be getting called as a man with a championship? Come on. Like, I get it, right? It sounds, it sounds good. It sounds, it sounds good. Has nothing to do with can she coach or not? That is not the question. Obviously, she, she can coach 109 and 3. Hell yeah, she can coach. Adrian Griffin got, he got fired. Nick McMillan got fired. You <laughs> think that th those are men, strong mental men. Get the fuck out of here. That, that's it. It ain't got nothing to do with it, coaching, like you, you gonna, you gonna have to be like, come on, come on, y'all. You in the middle? <laughs> Imagine her trying to draw a play up. <laughs> all right, all right. Listen, we gonna, we gonna put you right here. We gonna do this. Soon as a motherfucker, man, give me this goddamn ball. Get the fuck on out of here and try to drop his own play. Oh my god, done, done. Suspended thirty games. And we do that to the man. We do that to the men. What happens when someone does it to her? We can't separate. Oh my God, it's a it's it's a woman. No, we <laughs> you a coach. Whatever your playbook is, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Fuck you. 
I come in the game, you ain't calling my plays. Fuck you. That's it. So I, I wouldn't even put her in that situation because it doesn't end, it doesn't end well. Hell of a coach. I don't even advise her to go to the the the, the W the WNBA. You got college on lock. That's you. You all of college basketball. Stay there. Get your three point five, your four, your six. You are the goat here. You jump up there three months. They done cussed your ass out. You done left. You know, what I mean? <laughs> think, think about spree, spree well to chuck the shit. You don't want. Come on, y'all. There's a there's some knuckle think. All right, y'all think I'm playing? Let her coach McCants. <laughs> Let her coach McCants and have Draymond Green on a team with a Patrick Beverly. What, what you got? What you what you got then? Mm-hmm. 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 What you what you got? But in other news, though, in other news with it, though, look at this. I, whoa. I don't even know why I just say legendary. It's just say GOAT, GOAT, women's basketball coach Don says trans women should be able to play. <laughs> Don, what you got up your sleeve, huh? <laughs> what Louis Vuitton? Don, what you got up your sleeve? You got something in the bread. You got something in the works, huh? You got someone stash. What you got going on for you to make this statement? What you got? Who, who you got? Who you know? Mm-hmm. If you're a woman, you should play. If you consider yourself a woman and you want to play sports or vice versa, you should be able to play. That's my opinion. Ah. Don, Don. I stand with you on this one. <laughs> I stand with you on this one. Why? Have y'all ever seen the transgender basketball player? Oh, they trash. <laughs> oh, they trash as fuck. Right? Hit, hit. Think about it. Y'all got to relax i know you i know y'all uh, i know y'all going y'all already trying to type some sh listen <laughs> today right most transgenders who feel that they are allowed to come out they are young right six seven eight nine ten whatever right That means those 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 kids have already felt they already came out. They've already adjusted to who they think they are or who they want to be and who they are inside, right? That person wouldn't be battling masculinity at that point. Um today's that's why you haven't actually seen a transgender in basketball dominating because Basketball, basketball is the only sport where girls who are good want to play with men, right? They want to play with men. They want to test themselves. So I don't see a, a male out there who's good enough to compete with men to say, nah, I feel like a woman and I'm going to go play women's basketball and destroy. That. Not, not this sport, right? When you have like transgender women who are very dangerous to women, th th this is th these are the ones. Either they're older and twenty something, right? 
or they were showing signs. They were showing signs at an early age and their parent, their father wouldn't accept it. So he, they put him in football, boxing, MMA. They started putting him in sports to try to combat it. Now this child has learned how to be aggressive. Now, when this child is allowed to come out and be himself, look at the, the skills of dominance they have. So now they go into the sport that they've been doing their whole life, but on the woman's side, and they're sitting there destroying. But when you're talking about, like, hooping, trash. Remember, I have a daughter. I have a, EJ. Now, think about <laughs> yeah, EJ. Come on. If EJ tried to play women's basketball come on y'all what what that what that gonna look like let's be honest like think about think about Brittany Griner she thinks she can beat on the boys she thinks she can be in the NBA here I got proof this is what a transgender basketball player look like Right? Tall about six five. Look at that layup, layup, missed that. <laughs> Wait, hold on, y'all. Wait, no, no, no. Where's the first play? No, here we go. We're gonna watch the first play. Look, look at the first play. Look at that. Got that. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Watch this. About to get hurt. Trying to block a shot. Look at this. Ow! Right. <laughs> it's, listen, it, trust me, y'all. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh. This is serious. We got to see how good they can be. Already tired. <laughs> Miss that layup. Can't block no shot. Look, can't jump. Don't know what to do. Look at that. I've watched, I've watched, listen, listen, I've watched a lot of basketball and but but there's always exception to rules. Um, I, I think that, like I, this, is how I stand because I have kids and I've watched I've watched uh, transgender. Like even in the state championship, there was a transgender. Uh, it was a girls game before my sons. There was a transgender uh, on the on the team. Sorry as fuck. Uh, I think at a certain age. Because girls play with boys until about 15, 16, right? Like my daughter, my daughter and son, the, the two youngest ones, they played, they played on the same team together. Right. Um, if you know Caitlin Clark, she played with boys uh growing up. So them playing in the same sport in basketball up until about 15, I, I don't have no problem with that. Um, it's once they start getting to adulthood. Or if they start, if they play professional as a man, I wouldn't let them transgender and I wouldn't let them play women's sport. If they play men's sports, like senior college or whatever, you shouldn't be allowed to 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 go down. That's my that's my thing. 
Boy, that's trash. Motherfucker, don't tell me to stop. Have you even watched the game? Have you even watched? I haven't seen one make a layup yet. <laughs> I'm serious. I haven't. I, I really haven't. I've been watching a lot. I ain't. I haven't. Mm -mm. You, hey, you said it. What about the shower? Bruh, bruh. I, <laughs> I, that, that's, that's, you know what, that, you know what, to be honest, there needs to be a real, real conversation with women Serious. This needs to be a conversation with women because the only ones that are pushing it are women. I don't know what cis women is. Which, which one? Which which whichever one got <laughs> um, organic? Uh -huh. The one who got the organic taste in the vagina. That one, right? They need to have a real sit down because I don't know if they really are understanding the. The concept of this, because this is not, this is not something that affects men, right? Right. There's no woman that turns into a man that's going to come into the sport and dominate. Not going to happen. So, men are not going to lose no records to transgender women or transgender. Women. I don't. To be honest, I don't even know which one is which. Okay, just a woman that transgender to a man coming into a man's sport. We're not work. Not going to worry about any of those records being broke. Stop, okay? Now, here's a problem that women have to think about. If you are a transgender going from woman to man, they do not allow you. No, if you identify as male, they will not put you in the male prison. They will not put you in the male prison. Oh, your booty gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you came in there with, they snatching that right off, right? You better have buttons on that one or that's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. But man to woman, they're allowed to go to y'all prison. And y'all don't, there's nothing wrong with that. They allowed to come in the bathrooms. There's none wrong. Only y'all. That, that's y'all safety. It's it's, it's y'all safety that's at. Like I, we watch online. Y'all out there trying to fight these motherfuckers. <laughs> Get out, hitting them, hitting them with the purse and shit. And I just be sitting there thinking, like, <laughs> low key, if that motherfucker throw right hook your ass. Done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I be sitting there just be like, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, all it's going to take is just one quick-ass hook. Y'all going to stop this shit. But but it's 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 y'all it's it's a woman's space. I've seen the email go out. Yeah, you know, I decided that I will be using um no longer using the male restroom. I will be using the woman's restroom and then Women got to accept this shit. And I'm like, why y'all y'all not fighting back? Y'all don't care? Because if y'all don't care, obviously, you know, men don't give a shit. So, but, yeah. Um, I think it's all, like, case by case, in a sense, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, we can just say hard, no, but for kids, if they're kids, I, you know, what? let them play sports, man. Just... You know, it's sports. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 to be honest, I don't know. Right? Not my. I mean, I've seen it. On, I've seen it on the basketball level. You know, haven't seen it any uh, any other sport, so I can't really give you a full uh, a full breakdown on it. Right? So, you know, it's not my. It's not my place. I mean, I can tell you as a hooper and watching at least two dozen play, I wouldn't be, I, I'm not the parent that's going to be boycotting. 
I'm not a parent that's going to be boycotting because I've already seen it. Like, when you're talking about, like, physical, like, um, I don't know how it looks on tennis. Uh, you know, because like, most sports are most sports are are co-ed at a certain age. I think as long as the sport is co-ed, it should be fine in your teens. I don't know. That's that's that. Not my not my problem. Okay, not my problem. It's big man's birthday. Well, stop the cap on what? Stop the cap gear on what though? What am I stopping the cap on? I hey, listen, no serious. No, 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 no. This is serious. If men's be, yeah, in jail, imagine men in women's jail because he's trying to avoid me. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm telling y'all right now. Let a judge give me 30 years. <laughs> Woo! Let it let a judge give me 30 minutes. Saucy Gill to the rescue. Oh, oh, I'm tapping in. Hey, listen, I'm tapping into my ability. <laughs> oh, you, you, you crazy? Hell's wrong with you. Hell's wrong with you. You really, you really think I'm gonna be all up in the real jail <laughs> with this face? <laughs> you not gonna manhandle me up in the prison? I've seen what they do to just anybody. Gonna throw me up in the saucy gill to the rescue. Whatever I gotta do to go to the women's cell. Hey, if they wanna manhandle me. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> Saucy Gill to the rescue. What's wrong with y'all? Is you crazy? It, this only works two ways. These is going to be my options. <laughs> Either somebody going to be trying to do me or I'm going to be trying to do somebody. And that's going to be in the women's prison. Woo, I got a whole, hey, I'm going to be in that motherfucker like, <laughs> Hey, <laughs> whoa, this is fun here. Is you crazy, man? But that's how easy it is. That's how easy it is to get out of mail prison. And I'm telling you, I understand. I I understand. I understand. From Megan Fox with a tool. Who the hell is Megan Fox? Megan, the actress? Is that the one that drinks blood? Mm, nah. Oh, this is the one. Uh, this is the one that's in Transformers. I seen somebody else. Let me see. What anybody else? Did I miss anybody else's? They said MB. Listen. Man, I listen, I do commend, I do commend MB, but I mean. Mm. And I get it, man. Like you, you, you want to be out there with your teammates, but you know, I, I can I can tell you this. If you get hurt, if you think people are talking about you now, wait till you wait till you can play. Out of two basketball movies, which one you watching on repeat? Repeat, Hoop Dreams, more than the game.
Neither, because I don't know. Hold on. More than a game. What the fuck movie is this? I so I've never seen this one. I never seen more than a game with LeBron. Hoop dreams was this my young? Oh, hoop dreams. I, I seen this when I was little. I just I just started playing basketball when this came out. What's the most I ever dropped in the strip club? Fred. Fred. <laughs> Fred, listen. <laughs> MX is still trying to figure out how I did it. <laughs> I think it was. It was over 60 bands. It was over like 60 bands where. I convinced some of the strippers like I wanted to take some of the money home. <laughs> so, yeah, so I ordered all the cash, put it in my backpack, took some of it home, had some of my teammates, like, keep the credit card and order more. And then I called American Express and said it wasn't me. Gave me all my money. So, I mean, I technically didn't spend, <laughs> I technically didn't spend the 60, 70,000. I walked out of that motherfucker with 34. It was fraud and FBI, th th they've already tried, brother. They don't know what they look at. So you snitching on your, they don't even know what year to look in. They don't, they don't know nothing, man. I know, I know what they started doing after that was start fingerprinting dudes. <laughs> They started freaking print, uh, uh, like, and I still shut out. Wait, whoa, relax, bro. With all the finger prayer, you know it's me. Remind me of Randy Brown. Don't say that name around here. <laughs> Randy Brown. Hey, is um, is 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 Giannis all right? I see he got hurt. Is Giannis all right? I hope he didn't like really strain his calf. Hope it's just a little, 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 little slight nothing. Stem cell on your leg. You, you ever thought of getting? I try. Listen, I try stem cell. I tried. <laughs> I tried a little bit of everything. Um, it works for a little bit, but not. No, nah, it's not. I mean. Right, you know, I got, I got I got like a few weeks out of it, and then boom. Damn, Clippers beating the dog shit up. Wait, what? Is that the real score? Clippers fifty three to sixteen. God damn! Nah, Kevin Durant ain't playing then. Hell no. Nah. Okay, Kevin Durant is. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, they is beat. Oh, my God. Man, get, get back up. Get back up. What are you looking? What are you doing? Who's hacking? Get off my fake, bro. Okay, this is. They all playing, get smacked on. Yeah, this is a beat down. And this, this game might finish with intent. Come on, Lake Show. What we doing? Is Braun playing? Braun playing. Okay, AD ain't playing. Okay, we still we still bullshitting around. Okay, we still bullshitting. Right now, you can't trust nothing. If Zion gets a 255, he's a top 10 of all time. All time. Imagine him with the jumper he, he uses and 12 more inches on his vertical like high school. At his listen, if he can get if he can get down to like 255, 265, you will have Zion in high school. You'll have Zion in high school. 
right? That's the Zion that needs to show up right now, just physically, right? I, I think they put so much emphasis on how strong he was, and I think he got into weightlifting and all that, and he just got too big, got too heavy. But if he can get down to 255, to 265, with his just nat- with his natural strength, he'd be a lot faster. No one's stopping him, especially since he's coming downhill. Hey, with okay, look, we had a topic today about the um. With the Drake, well, not even Drake, it's Kendrick and and, um, and J. Cole. I'm, I'm listen, I'm not really, I'm not really a beef, beef music dude. I'm not really into like like dudes telling them what they're gonna do. Like I, I I just like good music. They make the song. If they diss each other, they diss each other, but I'm not. Like I'm, I'm, I want the music part of it, right? Um, it, it seems like with J Cole, it was, it seemed like the apology was a lot harder than making the diss song. And we always talk about, you know, where the stand up leaders at, and then when one tries to be one, everyone calls him lame. If his, I look at it like if his, if his career wasn't beefing, then why, why should we expect it now? That's how I look at it. If 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 he if he didn't come into this game beefing with everybody, then I I wouldn't expect him to do this. That's that's how I look at it. Drake <laughs> Drake is Drake. You know Kendrick is a, look, look uh, Kendrick is, is who he is. But you know there's just some guys that that say they're not about they that's not their style. So if he decides to back out of it, I mean why are we trying to hold him to something? If that's not his music, as much as we want to see them go back and forth, whoever wins, are we going to say that the like it's not going to change their legacy? It's not going to change their record sales. It's not going to change any of that shit. It's I think it's just personally for us, we can try to put a label on who's the best, right? Even though this is a friendly battle, it's always starts off friendly until one motherfucker says something undercutting right it's always it's always friendly until one goes overboard then it becomes boom so you know i'm i'm if he dropped the song boom okay if he don't okay like i don't I mean, does does Kanye does Kanye beef? Does Lil Wayne? What are they beef songs for the most part? Like I'm trying to like this is the problem with beef today. The the. The songs itself is not the killer. The songs itself is not the actual killer. It's it's what side you're on, in a sense. Who's making who's making the hot beats? The producers, the who has the power. And if you go to one side or the other side, you kind of get blackballed in a sense. And that's what happened to Remy Ma. Right, you go at you go at um, Nikki, realizing who's on your side, because Nikki has Lil Wayne, Drake, which means at that time that's Future, that's all the Migos, that's all that's every that's damn near the whole industry. All you had was what Fat Joe, um. Fat Joe, uh, what's his name? Coke Boys, what's his name? Um, 
Man, what the hell is his name? I can't even think of his name. Coke, what was his name? Uh, come on, y'all. Y'all know his name. French Montana, yeah. Yeah, that that's that's her that's her whole side, right? That's it. That's all you have to back your your music career. You know, everyone's gonna choose Nikki's side because who she's attached to. You know, so you you really have to be careful. But you know, I, I commend I commend uh, J Cole because I think this is more embarrassing than the music part of it apologizing trying to be the beggar uh bigger man um going in front of twenty thousand, knowing that all real hip hoppers are gonna try to ah you ain't you ain't about that life you ain't right i mean you know it, it's one of those things man beefing is a young beefing is what you do when you're younger i guess But just like some people say, you say you're number one and someone takes a shot at you. But I, I don't like that, though. Right. I, I, I saying I'm number one. W why do you have to diss me personally? Which I don't know if it was a personal shot. I mean, man. Eh. That's 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 for y'all. That ain't got shit to do with me. But, but uh, okay, hip hop is hip hop. But when did hip hop become about beef? Who was DMX beefing with? When like was his career around beef? I don't know. Like I'm just trying to I'm just tr I'm just trying to think about like some of the the people that I listened to back in the day, right? Yeah, NWA, like I get that. I know DMX beef with corrupt Tupac and B. No, I listen, before that, I mean I get I get that. <laughs> I get that. Right? The but then it went back to like then it go back to like party music. DMX hated Ja Rule. DMX beef with himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this I guess I guess I guess it st it stands on it. Big Daddy Kane Kumo Day. Okay, okay. All right, motherfucker, I get it. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, so this is what hip hop needs, I guess. So I guess we uh Ti Lo Fip Ti no Ti and Ludacris. I remember that one. I remember that one, T.I. and Ludacris, because I remember that one because I hired T.I. to perform at my 25th birthday party, and I want Ludacris too, and Luda wouldn't do it. But I think he showed up anyway. <laughs> that 50 Cent and Kanye, that was for publicity. I don't know if that was real, real. But look, I'm about to go work out, right? I'm feeling kind of, <laughs> I'm feeling kind of big around here. So I'm about to go work out a little bit. And we getting our ass for it, man. Ah, right, damn, Lakers against Golden State. Clay out, light skin boys out there doing it. There, even Wiggins show you. Even Wiggins is showing up. See, this is what I was afraid of with the Golden State Warriors that they start clicking at the right time. That they start clicking at the right time. Only came on here for an hour because I'm gonna I'm come. I'm coming back in the morning. I think I want to do a workout video. Maybe I don't know. But look, I know y'all got shit to do, so I'm gonna let y'all do it. Thank you for showing up. Oh, hey, y'all like the new hat? This is this is just a sample. This is a, this is a sample hat. This is a sample hat, my man. J Lo Customs, but I'm about to put the I'm about to put the hats on sale, uh, in my little YouTube studio thingy thingy, All right? So y'all can and I you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign all of them. I'm gonna sign them for y'all. It's just jewels. Can we buy? Yes, you can. This sugar foot.
<laughs> uh, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not. No, I'm not trying to work out because Phil. No, nah, I'm I'm working out because that's what I got. My Celsius, right? I got that, and I'm about to I'm about to work out. I'm about to get my little two because. I'm going to just be honest. <laughs> I'm going to just be honest. I ain't trying to be that no more. I ain't trying to. Listen, I'm not trying to sit there having a conversation and you sitting there with the controller, <laughs> sitting there like, yeah, what's on the day's game? <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe y'all did that to the Raymond like that. Big Ray. I can't believe y'all did that to Big Ray, man. But look, I mean. That's a North Carolina thing, man. There's always two sides, three sides to it. So hopefully, hopefully them boys over there, man, they are champions. They won together, man. Hopefully them boys can get it together and come to some peace, right, and talk it out, hash it out, whatever, you know. Um, you know, I guess, you know, I, I guess when, you know, you feel the world is against you, you, you look at everybody as an enemy. You know, and I, you know, that's just... But that's between them. But uh, I'm going ahead and get out there. I'm going to go ahead and get out there before I start. <laughs> before I start, you know, they start. y'all start laughing at me because I know last year and a half, you know, some of y'all was saying I had, I had titties, right? I think one of y'all, I think one of y'all in there said I was a lesbian starter kit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I I I heard I heard y'all in the comments last year or a year and a half ago, and the only reason I lost weight I didn't lose weight because y'all was making fun of me, right? Because I could have just did my shit just head just head high, no, because I didn't want to go back to the uh, <laughs> I didn't want to go back to the um, the Washington Wizards. Um, Legends thing, and I was the, the the one that was out of shape. So I was like, "Oh, let me get my shit together real quick." You know, I don't, I don't mind being in the middle. I just don't want to be the heaviest one looking. So, but all right, see y'all in the morning, baby mama. Yeah, now they said I look like a. They said I look like a a lesbian starter kid, like. I was, oh no, hey, hold on. I do got questions. I do got, hold on, y'all. I lied. I'm not leaving. I lied. I lied to y'all. I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> hold on. I do got some, I do got some. Let's see if we can remember how to do this. Is it windows to the window? Okay, let's see if we can figure out how to do this though. All right, let's see if you, let me know if y'all can hear this. Yo, Gil, Matrix, New York Matrix. Question. When was the last time has the Lakers been prominent? I mean, since Rob came there, we haven't been able to attract any superstars. Is that because when Rob was DeAndre's Jordan Y'all can um, hear that? agent, he had him commit to Dallas and then reneged and signed back to the Clippers? Because I feel like when Mitch was our GM, we got a lot of shit done. We got All right, let me hear what the fuck he's saying. Yo, Gil, Mattis, New York Mattis. Question. When was the last time has the Lakers been prominent? I mean, since Rob came there, we haven't been able to attract any superstars. All right, listen, listen. That's because I don't know. Rob was the. Shut up. We got LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Those are two superstars. Choke punk ass on out of my goddamn inbox. You hear that shit? What is wrong with him? So, like, like we ain't got, like we don't have Anthony Davis and LeBron James. 
he making it seem like we got <laughs> like that 2017 team. They got damn near uh, Nick Young, and then you got a whole bunch of the, the big head Socrates dude. We ain't got that. We got we got LeBron James. Kill my boy. What up, dog? Hey man, we fucking with you. Fucking with the show, bro. But I got one question, my nigga. Hey yo, all seriousness. Why the fuck y'all keep letting McCants on screen with them fake ass Jordans, my nigga? I'm saying though, gang. I fuck with everything he say. He takes from all that, my gang. But yo, you can't be taken serious with no fake ass motherfucking flea market Jones on the show, my nigga. All I'm saying is, Gil, next time nigga. No, we, no, we're just gonna be honest. No, this is this goes for all the McCants fans out there. All right. If you hey, if you like his takes, then you gotta like his Jordans. <laughs> you can't change up. You can't like half. You gotta go full board. You get the takes with the Jays. That's how he works. The takes with the Jordans or the the Julios, right? The Jorge's, whatever he wants to call them. You gotta take it all. You can't put McCann's takes with new Jordans on. Nah, they got to be the El Lupe's, brother. Sorry, that's not how it works. McCann's takes come with the Julio and Romandos, right? Because they tight like this. <laughs> you got to take the lesbian nines. That's what they call the lesbian nines. That's him. His takes with the lesbian nines, okay? Trying to... What's wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? Yeah, what up? And they trying to, they trying to disown half of McCann's. Yeah, what up? Yeah, this is Mike Jones. I'm I'm out of uh, North Carolina. Yeah, what up, Gil? Yeah, this is Mike Jones. I'm like, is he saying Mike like Mike Jones? <laughs> like, Mike Jones. I'm yeah. 281-330-8004. <laughs> that Jones. What up, baby? What up, baby? Mike Jones, yeah. I'm out of uh, North Carolina. I just got to ask you, why do you think the media, I kind of know, but I want your perspective. Like, why do you think the media always is trying to push narratives out for certain players? Like, um, as far as, like, the MVP races and things of that nature, why do you think they always try to push narratives towards certain players and not other players that, you all, as players, think they're good, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, all right. Um, because media has their bias. And what I mean by bias is you, you – they judge, they judge players on everything – majority of nothing that has to do with the game itself, right? So, you know, if I do something off the court, somehow my 35, 10, and 10 is irrelevant, right? Think about when I make a take and they don't like the take or they don't have no rebuttal for the take, they throw off the court jabs. Oh, why are we listening to a guy who pulled the gun and living? Obviously, he can't think. They start doing that because they don't have actual rebuttal against the facts that they can be. That's how they do it. And they, they take it personal if you don't give them an interview, right? If if someone likes you too much, for some reason, they, they go against that, right? They got inner beef. So if this person likes it, I don't like him. I'm going to go against who he likes. There's too much bias going on that have nothing to do with the sport. When it comes to players, for the most part, we try to get it right. We try. But sometimes you bust my ass. Trust me. 
I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I like you no more, especially if you was talking shit. Right? So there's a little bit of bias going on. And sometimes there's this thing called uh, voters fatigue. How, how can you be fatigued on voting? I'm getting tired of this person winning all the time. Now, if we ever, if we did that shit back to them, if we did that back to them, they will be hurt. Like if there was a best media award, best talent award, and then the same person keeps winning, you know, oh, you know what? I'm tired of voting for the same person. Let's switch it up and start doing that to them because that affects their pay, that affects their job, same things as it does here, but they don't see it that way. They fatigued against everybody, but Joker, no, nah, they was... No, they was fatigued against him last year. That should have been his champion. That should have been his uh, MVP last year. So they was they was fatigued last year. Let's see what else we got. Hey, Gil, this is T. Smith repping the five oh. Hold on, T. Smith. I heard it. T. Smith. Let's see what we got, T. Smith. Hey, Gil. This is T. Smith repping the 501. Got a basketball question for you. Who is on your Mount Rushmore of injured NBA players that would have had a great career? For me, I have you, Jay Williams, Grant Hill, and I can go back and forth between Yao Bing and John Wall. Who is your Mount oh, Rushmore? Man. Thanks. And you're doing a hell of a job, man. Watch you guys every day. Peace. All right. My Mount Rushmore. I'm going to go Penny Hardaway, Derek Rose, T Mac. Mm. See it? Listen, it's hard with. Nah, I, I guess if you. Ooh, Amari Stoudemire, because he did get hurt in the middle. Of, I say, I say, Bill Walton. I'm gonna go with Bill Walton. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Bill Walton. I'm gonna go with Bill Walton. Um, and then, and then honorable mention, I'm going to say Brandon Roy. I'm going to say Brandon Roy, honorable mention. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go. Short. I, I, I got it. I did it. I said it. Okay, let's see. I hate that I gotta stop and then just go back into the the window. I gotta find a better solution to this, y'all. No G Hill. I know, man. Look, Christian. The only reason that I didn't have G uh, Grand Hill is because he he kept playing. Right, he kept playing, so it kind of threw me for a loop. Right, but you you're right. He he's one of them too. He's one of them too. Shit, if Kobe didn't tear his Achilles, you know, got to see more years keep, you know. But you know, I can only do four. So I'm gonna do the people who who career really got they 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 couldn't go no more. Hey, yeah, you lying like a motherfucker, man. Well, if I ask you what position you fucked on, um, Dre in, you ain't going to answer that, man. <laughs> Boy, who said I did? But if I did do it, I'm, I'm pulling my OJ. <laughs> All the positions that you can think of. <laughs> I'm not messing with you, dog. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Come on, man. Grow up. 
Dog. I, I was. What's good, Gil? This is Ronnie. Uh, listen, I, <laughs> I'm just saying if I did do something like that, it'd probably be all of the, all of the position. I don't know. I, I know some people said Greg Oden. I don't know. Greg Oden came in this motherfucker 48. All right. <laughs> so I don't know what he looked like in middle school when he was when he was 19, 20. Let me just be honest with you. I'm going to just be honest with you. Greg Oden came in his motherfucker already had gray hairs. So <laughs> I, I, you got to show me some high school. <laughs> you got to show me some high school, middle school basketball games and to, to know, because I'm pretty sure the way his knee, his knees was 45 when he, when he got drafted. Uh, do I have a summer camp for kids? No, nah, I don't have a summer camp. No, nah, I can't. I, I, I've thought about it, but I can't. I can't do it. You know, I'm sorry. I just can't. Lynn Bias, no. Nah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what kind of hurt. You, they talking about injury prone hurt. I don't, yeah. This ain't the same, okay? This ain't the same what you got going on, okay? He wasn't injured. <laughs> All right, I'm just... just... Well, good, Gil. This is Ronnie. Man, my question is, why you be acting like you didn't used to cook the shit out of LeBron James back in the day? That's when you got the hibachi. You used to fuck him up every playoff series. He was terrified to go through you. I used to play against, I played against LeBron in high school. Now he cooked our ass, but I'm just saying, I'm talking about the NBA with you. Let everybody know you used to cook LeBron's <laughs> ass all the time. Hey, no, nah. <laughs> hey, nah, this is funny, dog. It was like, yeah, no, nah, I played against high school. He fucked us up, but nah, we talking about the NBA with you. No, 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 I got, oh, no, no. I was dropping him. Not going to lie. From when he came in, because people don't know, when LeBron first came in, LeBron was a shooting guard. So he had to guard me when he first came into the NBA. He wasn't a small, he came in as a shooting guard. So he had to guard your boy. I gave him all that work every time. I did not disappoint as an individual. <laughs> I did not disappoint as an individual. Where's your MVP, Gil? Trina M. The fuck is your problem? Huh? You know damn well I ain't got no MVP. <laughs> you know what? Don't play with me right now. You already know I don't have an MVP. That don't stop me from dropping somebody. Don't stop me from out here shooting. Okay? Damn. Oh, we always got always gotta go to the you always gotta go to trophies and shit. Damn. You ain't shit for that one, okay? I just got a nice ass message talking about how I cooked the man and you wanna go throw in where my MVP knowing damn well I ain't got one. I don't think I got any MVPs. Oh no no! I got one. I got one in college for something. I do. I do. Okay. I was the people's champ. All right. Well, good, Gil. This is Ronnie. Man, my question is, why you be adding like you didn't used to cook? Oh, see, that's what you get. You get to hear Lonnie again. Okay, I think this is the last one, y'all. See where we at? Boom. I 
Oh, y'all see a trend out here? No, I'm serious. LeBron has Sarah like I don't know. <laughs> get you. Watch him. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, what up, Gil? So I want to just start by saying I'm a huge fan of your podcast. You as a player also, but a super fan of your podcast. And the question I want to ask is, does it bother you or because you speak on how we all know that you are a huge troll, but also when you state facts and provide evidence, everyone that hates on you likes to speak as though you're an idiot and don't know basketball. Well, let me get your name. Yo, what up, Gil? So I want to just start by saying I'm a huge Okay, fan. so you didn't give me your fucking name. Okay, you just got the talking. Nah, no, 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 no. The reason people think I'm a troll is because the things that I say hasn't been said. It goes against the narrative that they're pushing, right? So when I say something, they just automatic, without any facts, I can say this is a fact. And they're going to always call cap because they didn't. Um, they didn't look it up, right? They don't know how to find it. They don't know what they're looking at, right? Um, you remember when I said um, Detroit Pistons' first two championships had a little advantage because they were the first team in the NBA to have their own plane, right? I said they had their own plane on their back-to-back -back championships while everybody was taking uh, commercial fights, right? The, rebut the, the, the rebuttal was, I'm capping. And then Isaiah Thomas said that <laughs> I should be thankful that they had private jets, which confirmed what I said. And I should be thankful that because of them, everybody now is flying private, which wasn't my point. My point was they had an advantage because they had a private plan. I didn't. So no one ever corrects. They never correct what I'm saying with actual facts. They talk around it and try to move the needle or just talk about me personally. Because media itself wasn't built on facts. Right. See, this this media that you've learned everything from when you think about everything they've said it never came with provable anything. It's hypothetical. Everything. Who is better, this guy or this guy? Who can score more points in this era? Right. And we sit there and argue. So the facts that we do can't be proven. It's just all right. If Larry Bird had a 40-inch vertical, he'd be better than Michael Jordan. And then now you use that imagination and then you fight it. Oh, see, if he did this, he would have made more layups. And did, then you have a whole bunch of points that doesn't actually, you, can, you can't prove it. And that's what big media has done. That's what they do. Right? Same thing with the Jokic scenario right someone hit me with oh he he he's the first person in history to do he's the first center in history yeah they, they not the first player it becomes the first center in history to do at least 20 when they say at least already know it's bullshit 20 10 8 they, they'd be like all right two steals a block Right there, add <laughs> a block, a deflection. They'll start adding shit to put someone because if they want to make someone look good, they got to try to figure out how to put him in his own category. There was a stat line of Luca. Here, let me give you the stat line too. Hold on, let me see. Hey, my bad, Theo, dog. I, I, my bad, Theo. I remember who you are. 
I just didn't, I just, I, I, when you was like us, I just assumed you played with them and I didn't remember you on that team, but. I remember you on Brooklyn. Let me see. Uh, they said Luca is the first player since. Hold on, hold on, birthday. Oh, what was the stat line? It was it was weird because no, it wasn't weird, but it it just it was. All right, let's see what we got here. We got. So it's totals, right? It was his totals. And um, he's in front of it now, but it's, it was when he was tied, right? Uh, from points, rebounds, and assists, right? And they were like, oh, he's the first person since Will Chamberlain to have uh, a total of 52.7. Total points. Now, Think about that narrative itself, right? Not the first person to have a triple double because he hasn't, he don't have a triple double. So they can't throw him in that category. So they have to create another stat line to show you how good he's playing versus just saying the motherfucker's playing very well right now. You have to create a narrative and a stat that tries to make it seem like he's doing something. What he's doing right now is remarkable. You don't have to create fantasy stats to make the player look good. Right? So when they made that stat, I was like, wait, hold on. He's not averaging a triple-double, but I'm pretty sure Westbrook is there. So they made the stat. And said it was that it was uh, he was averaging at that time 52.7 totals. Westbrook was averaging exactly averaged exactly 52.7. And I'm like, why aren't they saying since Westbrook? But they washed out Westbrook and went straight to Will. I don't like things like that. But I don't I don't like the misleading of uh, of stats. Right. Um, It just seems like today they always use. Position. Right. When they want to make someone look good, they put them in his position. Like, you know, when Westbrook had a triple double, it was a triple double. Right. They don't say, oh, the first, you know, guard under six, four to do this or, you know, uh, a center to have assists. Like Jokic is the first center to, that, that can pass the ball. OK, but did he average a triple double? Like it, did he do what Luca's doing? No. But because you throw him in his own little category, it makes it seem like it's this. <laughs> and so what greats were you compared to, Gil? Is that what we doing? <laughs> Is that what we doing? Okay, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Compare me to uh, <laughs> he compared he compared me out of his own mouth. Huh? You ever been compared to someone out of Michael Jordan's mouth? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Steven, Michael Jordan himself, said he, I reminded him, yeah, of a nice-ass NBA player. Mm-hmm.
So y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know because y'all wasn't even there. Y'all wasn't even there. Yep. Said I reminded him of RB, baby. RB. Look those initials up. Yeah, I'll do it for you. RB. Not running back. Greatest NBA player of all time. Who initial started RB? <laughs> uh huh. I mean, I I got BR, Bill Russell, but but yeah, but Michael Jordan said that I, I, I remind him of player, and okay, it was Randy Brown, but still, I was only in high school and I was being compared to an NBA player out of high school, sir. But let me let me let me go and see who they compare me to. I I know another one, and he they said I was uh Katino Mobley. They said I coming out of uh, uh coming out of college, I remind him of Katino Mobley, which is stupid as fuck because he's left handed. That's how that's how stupid they are. How are you gonna compare me all righty to a left hand motherfucker? Just dumb. Just dumb. Compared. Two. Let me see who we got. Let me see. Okay, that okay. I, I googled the wrong thing, but I think it was Katino Mobley coming out. I think it was it was it was it was it was Katino Mobley. But I but I wasn't left handed, so it, it didn't make no sense, right? Um, but yeah. But he had to clip that one on one. I I I understood once I started becoming dominant because he was a dominant one on one player. One on one on the court all time. Who you got? I got Michael Jordan. I got Michael Jordan. As much as I want to say Kobe. Michael Jordan was just physically more gifted. So I do it like this. He has the ability. He has the tools to stop Kobe. Kobe didn't have the physical tools to stop Michael Jordan. When Michael Jordan wanted to jump and do it, he didn't have the body and he didn't have the jumping ability to compete. But again, this is... This is that 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 ESPN debate. We can't find out, so we just say the shit. But that will be who I go with. Ricardo Brown. <laughs> Ricardo Brown. I'm just saying, Browns. The, the, I mean, has any Browns been any? What NBA Browns is good? NBA Browns. Has any Browns been just the Browns? Just, has any Brown? Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me see. Let me just type in Brown and see what we get. PJ Brown, Fred Brown, Jalen Brown, D Brown, Chuck Brown, Bruce Brown, John Brown, Quanta Brown. Uh, Chucky Brown, Larry Brown, Hubie Brown, Dave Brown, Britton Brown. Okay, this. Nah, so um, I mean. Nope. Nope. See, now I'm pissed off again about Randy Brown. <laughs> Knowing damn well them Browns wasn't fucking no good, man. God damn, dog. What's good in your prime years? Did any elite teams try to trade for you? And how close were you? Were the Wizards to making that trade? Um, no, I was never on the block to be traded. Um, but as a free agent. 
as a free agent. No, I think like there was rumors of like San Antonio wanting me. Um, San Antonio wanted me. I know Miami, I could have been teamed up with Wade. I was a free agent when Wade got drafted. Um, Pat Riley didn't believe in uh, signing young kids to that type of money um, because I was asking for the max or at least that 65 to 80 range, right? Because I think the max back then was like 79. Um, So he didn't believe in playing young players that kind of money. And then they wanted to try uh, Dwayne Wade at the point. Um, that was the only time that I felt like I was going to, oh, I mean, in my other free agent year where I was a free agent in 08, um, and Baron Davis opted out of his contract. And as soon as he opted out to go play for the Clippers, Golden State called me. And look, I'm not going to lie. I, I thought about it for a half a second. Because they came, they came with the max is yours, which should have been five year one on one. So it was five year one on one, but my max was six years one twenty seven. So um, uh, six years one twenty seven was my max. They offered me five year one on one. I said, man, I just bought a house. They said we have a five million dollar house ready for you. All paid for. We'll give it to you. It had a helicopter pad with a helicopter and three cars of my choice if I came. I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was, I ain't gonna lie, that was a, that was a nice ass, they, that was a good one. What up, but I, um, I wanted to, I know that was a nice ass deal, little Mr. Sunshine. But you know, the, I was loyal, man. I was I was loyal to my team. Um, and I was I was I was the president over here, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm I'm the president of DC. I just couldn't I just couldn't get up and go. So yeah, but I. I'm done with y'all. <laughs> but thank y'all for coming out. That is the end of the show. Hats. We're gonna put the hats on. Not this. It's not this hat though. This is a. This is y'all gotta. Y'all gotta let me know if y'all like this hat though. Oh, and I don't have the link to uh, the the live event, right? I don't have the link to, to throw it in here, but I'm gonna throw it in here before we get there. Sign up, man. And listen, I'm telling you this. Listen, <laughs> if you show up and you didn't pay, if it's if it's looking light in that motherfucker, trust me, I'm letting you in. I'm letting you in no matter what. I don't give a fuck what they say. If it's looking light out there, I'm letting you in. (laughs) All right? I'm I'm letting you in, okay? I'm letting you in. $10, $15, give me $3 on the side. (laughs) I'll be hustling tickets. Shit, the money ain't coming to me. Four, five dollars. Look, I'll put you on my guest list. It's your, it's, I'm telling you. Grab it. There you go, Miss Sunshine. I don't know how they're going to click that. I don't know how they're going to click that, Miss Sunshine. Can you? Is it clickable? But I might, you know what? I might give out some of the, not these. I, when I wear the next hat, I don't know what the other hat is, but the next hat. But I got y'all, all all right? I'm going to try to get some guests in there. And we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. But let me go ahead and throw my... Where my my theme music at? Where my theme music? Where my theme? How do I get to it? Uh, There we go.
boy got no chill. That boy ain't got no chill. That boy got no chill. Like for real. That boy got no chill. That boy ain't got no chill. You gon' tell it to him straight, don't care how you feel. Then it feel as I'm counting millions, this ain't no cap. Shoot through the ceiling, look how they act when I enter the building. Like for real. What I look like taking it back. If I said it, then I meant it. Bitch, let's get it, gon' pull up the stats. Pull him up, right I'm pulling up. Hop out, what we talking about? Big dog, don't need clout. When it comes to it, it's no doubt. Whole presence, legend. Control the room when I step in. Got it jumping off the meter. Welcome to Gills Arena. On fire, no fever. Natural born leader. Official like a referee whistle. Been earn my stripes, no zebra. Hey, let's get it, let's get it. Triple double, you in trouble. Who want a verses? They saw my sneaks. I do this here on repeat. I can do this in my sleep. You know I ain't lying. I be flying like I'm Zion. I be laughing, haters crying. Podcast doing numbers. Look like I'm handling my business. Always keeping it a hundred. Who want to smoke? 